If you like funny stuff off the telly, you're in for a treat. <laughs> this episode, we got TV's funniest moments, a part one. Right then, Gazzadi, we're going to count down our favourite top 10 moments from TV comedies. That's right. Yeah? Shall I kick us off? Do it. One of my favourite TV moments, guys, is from the classic, the US version of The Office. Are you a fan? I do. Not as, not, I prefer the British one. I prefer the, the genius of the British one and its inspiration, but the longevity of the US one makes it fantastic. Very true. Yeah? And it's a bit less of a serious mockumentary, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah. More of a sitcom. Mm. So, the bit that I love from it, Gar, played by uh, the fantastic Steve Carell, is the wonderful character of Michael Scott, the boss, in the office, and it's every single time he says, that's what she said. You always left me satisfied and smiling, so... That's what she said! <laughs> I can't believe you came. That's what she said. Pam? Uh, my mother's coming. That's what she said. <clears throat> so there you go, Ga. For me, it's one of the giants. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Right, well, I've gone for Curb Your Enthusiasm. <sighs> Another classic. I know. I absolutely love it. I think it's in the top three of comedies for me. And it's hard to pick a clip for this because mm. it's a kind of... Those episodes are accumulation, aren't they, of yeah. the running joke. However, I've gone for this one. It kind of shows Larry David's pettiness. Here we go. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> Taste your coffee. Cool. Cool. Hey, man. Yeah. Mug of Joe. What? This is cold coffee. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. That coffee... It's not cold. Is your, is your coffee cold? Your coffee's hot, right? Look, we don't want to be fucking haters right now, but this shit's cold. Can, can, I get a, a, can I get a new cup? No. So no. you're not going to give me a new cup? No. Because that's a hot cup of coffee. It was hot when I gave it to that's you. That's a hot cup of coffee? It's a hot cup of coffee. It was hot when would I gave it to you. Would you stick your nose in a hot cup of coffee? Why would you stick your nose in a cup I of coffee? Because I want to prove to you that it's cold coffee. Watch this. That's cold coffee. That doesn't prove anything it except does. that you're an old ball nut. What'd you say to me? You heard me. Now get out, you old ball fuck. With pleasure. You think I want to sit here with a wobbly table and drink cold black coffee? Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah, good. Get out. I absolutely love Curb Guy. I gotta say, my favorite is the old Big Vagina. Scene. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love that episode. So, going on, my next one. This is probably my number one favorite comedy of all time. Obviously, these are in no particular order, yeah. really, are they? But this is my favorite comedy of all time. It's the fantastic Father Ted. Mm, and arguably the best episode, or one of the best episodes, top three, certainly. It's Speed 3, where Dougal <laughs> has to become a milkman because Ted has uncovered a, a, a plot, or whatever you want to call it, by Pat Mustard, the uh, Craggy Island's Randy Milkman, who's been <laughs> impregnating all the women. <laughs> on the island guy and he says this classic line he says to Teddy rings him up and he's like you got me sacked and now I'm having to yank myself off round the clock because I haven't got any real sex with girls <laughs> <laughs> and it's just it's so funny it's so daft and I think this clip where Dougal's kind of um, in this parody of the speed film if he goes over four miles an hour the milk float's going to blow up because Pat Mustard's put a bomb on it. And uh, they put this, these massive pile of boxes in the middle of the road. And it's just genius and it just typifies everything about Father Ted for me. Let's take a look. Google, listen to me. There's a bomb on the milk float. A bomb? Right. Who's that for? No, you're not supposed to deliver to anyone. It's going to go off and kill you. Pat Mustard put it there because I got him sacked. When you go to four miles an hour, it'll go off. The bomb will go off. Have you got that? Oh, Ted, look. It's a big bunch of boxes in the middle of the road. Just stay on. I think it's one of those, Father Ted, that it doesn't get the recognition as a, as a mm. British sitcom. I think it's so under the radar. It's genius. It's 
really good, isn't it? It's the best, man. I'm talking about kind of underrated sitcoms. I've gone yeah. for Parks and Recreation. Yeah, another belter. And the cast is fantastic. Mm. You talk about Amy Poehler's in it, Nick Offerman, Chris Pratt kind of got his big break yeah. through it. But yeah. my favourite is Aziz Ansari. And he's a fantastic stand-up as well. Yeah, I really like his stand-up, yeah. And this kind of typifies his character, Tom. Check this out. Air conditioners are cool blasters with a Z. I call sandwiches Sammy's, Sanduzzles, or Adam Sandler. I call noodles long ass rice. Fried chicken is fry fry chicky chick. I call eggs pre birds or future birds. Can I get apps and zerts? Zerts are what I call desserts. Tray trays are entrees. Root beer is super water. Tortillas are bean blankies. And I call forks food rakes. My next one, guy, is one that I know you're not a massive fan of. And controversially for me, it's better than The Simpsons. It's only bloody Futurama. Ooh. Matt Groening and the gang, once again, smashing comedy animation out of the park with Futurama. It's one of the best things ever on the telly for me. And every single episode is, is really funny. Like, they always do parodies of films and all that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But one thing that always stands out for me is the character of Bender. Mm. The cantankerous, drunkard robot from the year 3000 <laughs> who doesn't give a shit about anyone. He just likes drinking booze, likes chasing... Uh, Fembots, you know, <laughs> robot women and stuff like that. <laughs> and uh, he's just so funny, yeah. He's so funny. And you said controversy, but there mm. has been a bit of controversy about Bender, hasn't there? There has, yeah. John DiMaggio. Now, Futurama's coming back mm. for a new series, and the word was that John DiMaggio, who voices Bender and other characters, wasn't going to be returning. Mad. Obviously, fans were in absolute uproar. Twitter was on fire with a bile mm. towards the producers of the show, and I think that's now been reversed. And Mr. DiMaggio, rightly so, is back in. So let's take a look at some of his work as Bender. Ah, oh, you know what always cheers me up? Laughing at other people's misfortunes. <laughs> Fry, if you don't take this offer right now, I will lose all respect for you and punch you. <laughs> hey, what's this fat, ugly thing? A frog? A toad? Your mama! <laughs> oh my God, look, it's Bigfoot! Where? Uh, he's gone. He said you should keep wasting your life, though. Hey, look! Bigfoot! He's back! Where? Up your face! <laughs> Everybody do the bender. So there you go, guy. The great bender from Futurama. And I know you're not a fan, really. But, you know, as he says, you can bite my shiny metal ass, pal. <laughs> <All right. laughs> nice. Well, then, moving swiftly on. That's <laughs> yeah, a different video entirely, that one, yeah. So I've gone for... The Mighty Boosh. And kind of an alternative yeah. British sitcom. They only did three series, I think. Mm. And, they, and their live performances are fantastic. When they yeah. took it on the road, really, really good. And I like this a lot. Now, mm. it's kind of Marmite, isn't it? Some people love it, some people yeah. don't. So it's one I'm, of those... I'm a bit indifferent about it. Yeah. I, I like it, but some of it I think is a bit try hard. Right. Oof. Try hard. In a way, I'm sorry. You know, but um, and now he's on Bake Off and he in all field. So, <laughs> yeah. but can I say quickly? Go on. Harry Hill's much better on Junior Bake Off than Matt Lucas and Noel Fielding. Said it. I'm, I'm full of contra controversy tonight. Well, I don't even like Bake Off, mate. You're missing out. Check this out. Welcome to the Mirror World. Who are you? I am Mr. Susan. Guardian of the Mirrors. What do you seek, stranger? Oh, I'm just looking for my mate Howard. He's, he's in limbo. Ah, limbo bimbo. One of these mirrors does lead to limbo, but only one. You must choose wisely, for there are over 17 mirrors in the mirror world. <laughs> mirror world? It's not really a mirror world, is it? It's more of a small room. What? Well, no, it isn't large, but a mirror will make a room appear larger. And anyway, you failed to take into account my mirror balls. Look at them shine. Look at them shine. Look at them shine. Look at them shine. Oh! Look at them shining. Oh, it's cold. It's enough. Were you mesmerized by those tiny disco balls? I'm always mesmerised by any <laughs> sort of tiny disco balls guy. And speaking of balls, mm. uh, my next favourite clip is from Ricky Gervais, who's one of my comedy heroes. We've done a whole episode on him in the past. Yeah, yeah. It's from season two of Derek. Now, 
Kev is the character that I really, really love from Derek. And he's obviously he's in season one, but not as prominently as he is in season two. And in season two, Derek and Kev end up living in a caravan mm. on the grounds of the home that, that Derek volunteers or works at. And uh, there's just... It's just hilarity from start to finish, Gav, because it's so uncomfortable because Kev is such a weird, smelly, drunk bloke. She's got a lot of love to give that woman. A lot of love. Neck and face like a blind cobbler's thumb, but a lot of bloody love. You don't look at the mantelpiece when you're poking the fire. The mantelpiece being the face, the fire being the minge or the ass. Whatever I can reach at the time. Comfy, let's get you in position. So I've gone for Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Okay, so this is another one I'm not a massive fan of this. Yeah. Really? I think it's I think it's fantastic. Yeah. And I think Andy Samberg is fantastic in it. I mean, obviously, mm. he's a lot of comedy, but even in the serious bits, he's really, really good. Yeah. And I'm surprised he's not a bigger star. Yeah, he's, he's, he's done SNL, hasn't he? I think he started off on yeah, SNL. Yeah. And my favourite thing I've ever seen him in is a, a skit on SNL where Jonah Hill is dating Andy Samberg's dad. <laughs> and it's it's really 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 funny really like awkward mm-hmm. and it just, there's a real laugh out loud moment on it and uh, so you've seen it I haven't no you need to check it out I'll show oh, you after this yeah okay roll it so do you recognize any of these men I was hiding in the bathroom stall so I didn't see his face but I heard him he was singing along to the music at the bar do you remember what he was singing I think it was that song I want it that way Backstreet Boys I'm familiar okay Number one, could you please sing the opening to I Want It That Way? Really? Okay. You are my fire. Number two, keep it going. The one desire. Number three. Believe when I say. Number four. I want it that way. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Now number five. I never want to hear you say. Woo! I want it it that way. Oh, chills. Literal chills. It was number five. Number five killed my brother. Oh my god, I forgot about that part. Back streets, back, all right! <laughs> wow. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of the unexpected, this is the next clip I've chosen is from Only Fools and Horses. And I would say this is probably pound for pound the most popular UK TV comedy clip yeah. ever, I yeah. think. And I was thinking, oh, is it a bit cliche to pick it? But it's so funny. It's so good. Only Fools and Horses, obviously starring David Jason, Nicholas Lindhurst as Del Boy and Rodney. And the story about, you know, the trotters, it's in the sort of fabric of every yeah. British person's heart, I think. Yeah. And it's like, for me, every time I see Only Fools, it's like a warm hug. Mm. It always makes me think of Christmas. Yeah, yeah. The Christmas specials and all that kind of stuff. So the clip is obviously the famous Del Boy falling through the bar. Let's take a look at it. I think we're on a winner here, Tree. All right, play it nice and cool, son. Nice and cool, you know what I mean? <laughs> up, we're leaving. <laughs> Stone Cold Classic. It's one of the best clips ever. I love the, the way David Jason falls, oh, the commitment. Yeah. Obviously, there's going to be Crash Mass and stuff there, but the commitment and the, 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 the timing, the, the sort of the setup of it all, Trigger's reaction when he's just like <laughs> looking around, he doesn't know where he is, and then Del Boy comes back and he's like, come on, Trigger, we're leaving. <laughs> you cramping me style and all that. And it's like, uh. it's just comedy 
gold. And David Jason is a national oh, treasure. He is he? fantastic. A national treasure. Yeah, love him. Absolutely love him, mate. You're going to move us on to the final clip. Yeah, and this is number one, but it's not number one, is it? It's no. just how we put, out, put them together. I would lose my shit if we put this as number one. Because <laughs> you know how I feel about this character, Gav. <laughs> so, yeah, it's Friends and Ross Geller, the classic. Now, when I think of Friends... This is the, the thing that I think of all the time. And I think yeah. it, it's one of the most loved as well. Yeah, you even do this. You did this when, when we were shooting stuff for our prelude. We used to have to remove a load of trees when we were filming, didn't you? And I remember you would carry the trees and actually <laughs> say this, guy. All right. Ready? Turn. 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 I don't think we can turn anymore. Oh yeah, we'll come on up, 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 up. Uh, yes. Oh. Here we go. Pivot. 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 Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, I, I don't think it's gonna pivot anymore. You think? Pivot! <laughs> a classic scene. Guys. Oh, I love it. Probably. Is that pound for pound the best friend scene? It's a lot. I mean, we could have done the, the top 10 friend scenes. could be very oh, easy. Easy. You could easy. do top 50, couldn't you? Probably. No. But uh, I don't like Ross Geller, as you know, and I've talked about many <laughs> times on the show's guy. But I think David Schwimmer playing him is just... His comedy timing and his delivery is always impeccable. Isn't it? Yeah, good. He's, and he's probably the best comedy character in it, I think. Really? Yeah, um, even though Joey. I don't like him. Joey, I'm... A big fan mm. of Joey Lee. Well, if you're a big fan, let us know across socials and stuff. But um, I mentioned the prelude there, Gar. You did. Didn't I? So if you like films, TV, Star Wars, Back to the Future, comedy, funny shit, <laughs> you might like the prelude. Go and check this out. <laughs>